Albert Friedrich Emil Niemann, May 20, 1834 to January 19, 1861, was a German chemist. In 1859, about the same time as Paolo Mantegazza, he isolated cocaine, and he published his finding in 1860. Topic: Life. Niemann was born in Goslar, then in the Kingdom of Hanover, the son of a school principal. In 1849 he began an apprenticeship at the Town Hall Pharmacy in Göttingen, where from 1852 he was a PhD student at the George August University. Cocaine <coughs> 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 In the 19th century, there was a great interest among European chemists in the effects of coca leaves discovered in Latin America. In 1855 the chemist Friedrich Gaedeker had published a treatise on an extract of the coca leaf he called erythroxylin. However, little progress was made in extracting coca's active ingredients. Friedrich Waller, ordinary professor of chemistry at Göttingen University, had coca leaves imported to Germany by Karl von Scherzer, a member of the Austrian Navarra expedition, and he gave those leaves to Niemann, his graduate student, to analyze. In 1859, Niemann isolated cocaine from coca leaves. He extracted the primary alkaloid and named the ingredient cocaine. As with other alkaloids its name carried the inner suffix from Latin ina. He wrote of the alkaloids colorless transparent prisms and said that its solutions have an alkaline reaction, a bitter taste, promote the flow of saliva and leave a peculiar numbness, followed by a sense of cold when applied to the tongue. He published his finding in 1860 in his dissertation titled Uber eine neue organische base in den Kokoblatten on a new organic base in the coca leaves. This dissertation earned him his PhD and was published in 1860 in the journal Archive der Pharmacie. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sulfur mustard. During experiments with ethylene and sulfur dichloride, Niemann documented the irritating, blister-forming properties of bis sulfide, which was later named sulfur mustard and used extensively as chemical warfare agent in World War I. He described the properties as Sie bestet darin, da selb die geringste Spur, die zerfällig auf Ergend einer Stelle der OKOMMT, Enfangs ZWAR keinen Schönertz Herveruft, nach Verlauf einiger Stunden aber eine Rotung derselben bewirkt und bis zum folgenden Tage einer Brandblase Herverbringt, die sehr lang itet und auch ordentlich schwer heilt, und zur Hinterlassung starker Narben. They are represented by the fact that, even traces brought into contact with the skin, while painless at first, result in a reddening of the skin after several hours, and in the following days produce blisters which fester and heal slowly and with great difficulty, leaving behind significant scarring. <laughs> Death Niemann died on 19 January 1861 in his hometown Goslar, reportedly of suppuration of the lung, probably caused by sulfur mustard poisoning. After his death, his colleague Wilhelm Lawson continued his investigations, and identified the chemical formula of cocaine in 1862. 